lot of people don't believe in eternity. I'm sorry, but if I believe in eternity, that hurts no one. If they don't believe in eternity and find yourself in eternity, it hurts them. Then My purpose has not been to bestow feelings of guilt today, but to remind ourselves that each day we make choices. Each day, I tell everybody, each day I got to get up that morning and decide to follow Jesus again every day. Amen. God gives me another day. I got to decide to follow him or not. Every day. 56 years I've been making choices. Sometimes I made a lot of bad choices. But the best choice I made was receiving Jesus in my heart that day. Amen. Grafton, in West Virginia, that old church. Amen. He changed my life that day. He changed a lot of people's lives my wife's life. Every day we got to make choices. We are choosing to serve either Satan or God every day. Never stop. I hope to illustrate the folly of letting immediate and temporary gratification keep us from much greater and future rewards. Here it comes what I started out with. We need to spend time together. We need to, we need to uh, esteem the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of this world. Reproaches mean redirecting us all the time. Correcting us. A lot of people don't like being corrected. I, sometimes I don't like being corrected. I tell everybody, I'm a 56-year-old man. He used to be 55, now 56. <laughs> I don't need anybody to tell me what to do. But I do need people to tell me what to do sometimes. If you're driving down the wrong side of the road, you need somebody to say, hey, you're on the wrong side of the road. To esteem the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of this world. The worst day with God is better than any day that the devil can give you. Amen. Amen. The worst day with Christ is better than any of the best day the devil can give you. Because what God is doing for you is for your own good. He's doing it for your good. He's doing it for my good. He's doing it for our good. Amen. All Amen. things work to good to them to love God and are called to His purpose. All things. I got to believe that. Even with that seven days in the hospital, that emergency mm -hmm. surgery, that dreaded trip down to the emergency room and back, or the ER and back for the surgery, emergency surgery, I, I got to believe that something there going good come out of that mm -hmm. amen the biggest thing I got out of that is though everybody forsake me Jesus was still with me amen, amen. he never left me he never forsake me mm -hmm. you know he's always right there closer than a brother thank amen. God amen. we can count on him can't we when the chips are down mm -hmm. We need to choose to suffer affliction with the people of God. Don't leave them out in the wilderness. Go out there with them. Ain't that right? Amen. Suffer with them. That's what the Bible says right here. Mm -hmm. Choose to suffer affliction with the people of God. That's what, what the Moses did. He chose to suffer with the people in the wilderness. <laughs> If we could have foresaw what they did in the wilderness, he probably would have changed his mind, I doubt it. Mm -hmm. It was what he was following God, wasn't he? We need to follow God. Amen. 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 We need to follow God. We need to suffer for the people of God. Even if it means, means assembling ourselves together more often. Amen. Amen. We need to get together more often. Mm -hmm. We ain't had a dinner for a long time. Have them. Have them. And it did wrong now. You could have one today if they already made it. <laughs> <laughs> Come back here, somebody pour a drink on me. <laughs> Making me hungry. <laughs> well, they beat you somewhere because nobody made enough. I looked in the refrigerator when I came. <laughs> I looked in a cookie or something. They were. <laughs> But we need to we need to spend more time together. 
than to enjoy passing pleasures of sin and selfishness. We need to put away sin and selfishness. We need to put away binge watching movies and call brothers, sisters, and brothers. Lend a helping hand to a neighbor. Amen. I thank God I got a good neighbor. He, he's struggling with his Christianity, but he's a good neighbor. He's been there every day. He feeds water my chickens in the morning. He feeds and waters them in the evening. Over sweet, clean my house. A good neighbor. We need to be like that. Mm -hmm. I keep asking if I owe him anything. He said, I will we'll do that later. <laughs> Don't worry about that later. He knows I ain't got much money. Friendship. Friendship. We need to be as close to each other almost as we are to Christ. Is that right? The Bible says we need to love our wives as Christ loved the church. Amen. Amen. We need to be that close to our wives. We need to be that close to our brothers too and sisters. We need to feel their pain. When they feel hurt, we need to hurt. If they're hungry, we need to be hungry. Help them. Be right there with them in their pain and suffering. And keep looking to the reward that God has prepared for his children. We keep our eye on the prize. We won't lose. Is that right? Amen. We can't lose. We keep our eye on the prize. And that prize is Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 And he's called us to a life of servitude. He said, those are the greatest servant of the earth. Serve them all, ain't they? Together we can help each other keep our priorities straight. We need to be helping each other. And receive the best deal that one can make. That's receiving Christ. Amen. If you don't know Christ the way you should today, you need to get that. Amen. Amen. These altars are always open. When we come in every morning, we spend a little time with Jesus before the service. I'm guilty too. I need to do the same things I'm saying. And more than that, the people out in this world need us, you know, need to see us do those things. That their grandchildren or children need to see us praying when we have a problem. Amen. Not worrying about it. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? No. They need to see us down on our knees praying, God, how can, how can we get this done? God, we, we're praying, God, that you would lead us into the right way to get this done. They need to see us praying. They need to see us re relying on God. Yeah. Amen. Because they're going to be alone someday. And they're going to need God. Amen. And they're going to need to know how to call on him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Just like I did that day at Grafton. I didn't know I needed God. Mm -hmm. God knew that I needed God. Mm -hmm. And he led me to the end. I guess the scripture says to raise him up and he'll draw all people unto himself. Mm -hmm. So as he was being raised up in church service that day, he draw me to himself. No man called me that day. He called me himself. Amen. And he's been faithful. Even when I wasn't, he was faithful. It's not a, like I said, it's not a sermon to convict people or make people feel guilty. It's just a wake-up call. We need to love each other. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Love on each other and reach out to each other. Mm -hmm. Because Christ reached out to us. Well, thank you, Father God, for this day. Thank you for this time, Lord God, giving us, giving us your word, Lord God, giving us a, a path, God, we need to walk down to love one another, reach out to one another, and keep each other in prayer and fast for one another. I know, God, some of these things are hard to do, but God, we pray that we'd stay on the right path, that when we do the hard thing, we'd be welcoming the hard things. We thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right.